In the last episode we have finalized our DIY video RAM hardware and it seems to work. The RAM access is now time shared between a CPU and the VGA circuit displaying the RAM's content on the screen. Today I am going to write the necessary Arduino sketches from scratch and see how it all works on the software side. On the top right we have the camera's view of the VGA monitor. The first thing we need now is a function that sets our address and data register. These are just three cascaded 8-bit 74595 shift registers that are commonly used in many projects to enhance the I.O. capabilities of the Arduino. The Arduino shifts out 24 bits serially into these registers. Serial data is coming from Arduino pin D2, pin D3 is the serial clock and D4 is the register output clock. Let's begin by setting these pins to output mode in setup. Now I write a function write byte that takes in an address value and a data byte. I'm merging these data into a single 24-bit value that can easily be shifted into the 595s. I'm using a for loop for this. and always set D2 to the lowest bit and shift everything one step down. Then we flush the data into the register with a low-high transition on D3. Once we have sent all 24 bits we update the outputs with a rising edge on D4 and we are done. Let's test this by clearing the VRAM at startup. Ok, that's looking good. Now it's time to think about writing stuff into the video RAM. Here is the memory layout. Each line takes 64 bytes. And we have to keep in mind that the valid area is only the yellow rectangle, 50 bytes wide and 240 lines high, with the upper left corner at position 12 and 16. All the other RAM area must remain zero to ensure a valid VGA signal. Let's start by writing hex ff at random positions into our RAM now. Hmm, okay. Now let's also write random bytes. Oh, that's nice. Let's now work on displaying some text. Our video RAM doesn't know anything about the concept of characters. It just knows pixels. So if we want to see a character on the screen, we essentially have to copy its bitmap to the appropriate location of the video RAM. For an A, we would have to write the data bytes hex 18, hex 3C, hex 66 and so forth. So for each character our CPU must know this bitmap in advance. I've prepared this char set in the form of an array. Let's see if we can find our A. It should be at position 65. Ah, there it is. Hex 18, Hex 3C and so forth. Now I am writing a little print function that takes in an XY character position and a string and works out which bytes to put in the video RAM.
Let's now try the unavoidable hello world again. And yes, there you have it, from TTL to text, in just four videos. So I think we have reached the goal of building our own video RAM on a shoestring. It would be interesting to see this card interface to some other system, maybe a homebrew CPU or the like. If you have plans or ideas that go in this direction, I would love to hear about them in the comments. And if you have made it so far, thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.